What is up everybody? What it's like to live in New Zealand. You are watching Channel Matt. So I had a lot of people say to me after I made my video what it's like to live in Amsterdam. Hey Matt, you should make a video on what it's like to live in New Zealand. And, uh, well, it's, it's been a while, but I am back in my home country now. I'm back in New Zealand, and I thought, you know, hey, there's, there's never going to be a better time for this. The time is now, so this is it. This is it. This is what you've all been waiting for. What it's like to live in New Zealand from a real Kiwi. Uh, so this is, this is for anyone, really. Uh, anyone that's thinking about maybe traveling to New Zealand, maybe wanting to move here. Um, and if, if I fail to cover anything that you think should be covered and what it's like to live in New Zealand, hit me with a comment. Hit me with a comment, I'll, I will answer. I am yours, I will, I will help you. Okay, uh, so first, climate. Uh, yeah, notice, noticeable seasons here. We've definitely got a defined um, summer, winter, um, autumn and spring. Um, it's a subtropical environment, so you're looking at, I don't know, an average of 20 degrees Celsius in the summer and about about 10 to 15 degrees during the day in the winter. So, you know, t-shirt and shorts weather. T-shirt and shorts. Um, <laughs> I got a lot. I got a lot of um, I got a hard time overseas wearing wearing my t-shirt and shorts everywhere. I think um, that is definitely a stereotype that is true. So that's a little bit about the climate. Ah, oh, it rains a lot. Uh, pack your raincoat, guys. Pack your raincoat. Um, be prepared to get wet um, in the winter, especially, and in the spring. In the summer, if you're in the right place. Uh, bring your shorts, bring your singlets or jerseys, you know those those things that, I know different countries call them different things, we call them singlets, Americans call them jerseys. Uh, on to the next, what was I going to cover? Cost of living. Okay, um, I mean it's it's hard to generalise, it's, it's really hard to generalise generalize, um, what the cost of living is in New Zealand because some things some things cost a whole heap more than other countries, but some things cost a whole heap less. For example, you can buy a fairly decent used car that's not going to break down on you for about 2000 New Zealand dollars. Um, for those of you who are watching this from the States, uh, that's about 16, maybe 1500 US dollars. So pretty cheap to buy a car here. Cost of, of driving, seeing as that's our, our main form of, of transport, um, that's, that's what our infrastructure is based around. Um, driving is really cheap here. It's cheap to get your license. It costs a few hundred dollars New Zealand to get your full license. And it's cheap to get a car on the road. You don't need to insure your vehicle, although you should. <laughs> you, you definitely should, but you don't have to. Um, things that are expensive. Um, okay, we have a 15% GST tax in New Zealand on goods and services, which is effectively the same as VAT or value added tax. Um, so anything imported into the country has a 15% tax on it. That was one of the biggest things I noticed when I came from back from Europe was it costs, it costed maybe a third, if not a half, more to buy basic living necessities from the supermarket. So do bear that in mind when you're coming here to, to visit. There's actually a really, ah, there's a really good um, calculator online. It's called the Cost of, cost of Living Calculator. I'll, I'll link it below. So for those of you that are interested in specific amounts for what things cost, like a liter of milk, a loaf of bread, um, you, can, you can click on that and actually input any country that you want and figure out how much it costs to live there. So that's a little bit about costs. Uh, let's move on to the next one, which is... 
Geography, okay, so I'm talking about geography in regard to where New Zealand is located on a map of the world. And that is far away, it is really far away from any, everything. So if you're looking at coming here, be prepared for, at the most, a few days of travel by plane. That's including stopovers, but you're definitely going to have stopovers. So to get to, let's say, Europe from here um, was 24 hours flying time plus probably another 10 to 15 hours of layovers. Um, so be prepared for that. Um, it, it's also a little bit expensive to fly that far, so that's something to bear in mind. And pff, geography, what else can I say about geography? Geography. Nothing really. Next, next point. Nature. Okay. Uh, whenever I, whenever I say to anybody, this is when I'm not here, when I'm not in the country. Um, I'm from New Zealand. They're like, oh my god, I hear it's beautiful here. Well, yeah, it is. It's really nice. The country's small and it's extremely diverse. So you don't have to travel more than I don't know a two-hour drive to get from, let's say, a ski field to a beach. And that's something that you don't get in a lot of places. It's, it's really cool. Uh, we've got beautiful, preserved, subtropical, natural rainforests that have uh, walking paths, paths through them. And uh, you, you can do these for free. Beaches, mountains, rivers, you name it. So if, you, if you're a nature junkie like I am, then if you're thinking about coming to New Zealand, you are on the right thought track. Do it, come, come say hi. <laughs> food, okay, New Zealand's, uh, New Zealand food. Being in a country in which a large percentage of the economy is based on agriculture uh, has its benefits. It means that uh, our food is fresh. Um, farm to table, it's really nice. If we've got a, a booming organic food industry, which is really nice for, for all of you foodies. Um, and you don't have to look too far to find fresh food. We've got a lot less uh, genetic engineering than a lot of countries and a lot less mouths to feed than a lot of countries. So growers can afford and growers, producers alike can afford to put a little bit more care into the production of food. Being a coastal country, uh, there's a lot of seafood, papawa, uh, crayfish. A lot of you will know crayfish as lobster, probably. But we've got a lot of got a lot of that. Got a lot of mussels, shellfish. Um, that's really big here, and a lot of wild game like uh, deer, venison, um, wild pig, that sort of that sort of stuff. Yeah. So that's food. A couple of stereotypes, um, just for your interest. Most of which. Ah, uh, true. Okay, um, shorts. Yeah, we wear shorts a lot more than any other country I know of, except perhaps Australia. We're generally pretty cheerful people. Sheep. Yeah, you might have heard that New Zealand has a lot of sheep. Indeed, it does. There are four sheep to every New Zealander, so there are about four million of us and sixteen million sheep. So if you do come here, or when you do come here, expect to see a lot of sheep. You've probably heard about our rugby team, the All Blacks. The, the, the culture here is quite obsessed with the game, rugby. So that's something you might notice when you come here. Christmas is a really cool time here. Um, being on the flip side of the planet and being in the Southern Hemisphere, our Christmas falls upon the summer months. So Christmas for you might mean wrapping up in warm blankets and drinking eggnog and snow and that sort of stuff. And uh, Whereas for us it means going to the beach and swimming and surfing and having barbecues and, and uh, jumping off cliffs into rivers and all that sort of fun summery stuff. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to for people from overseas uh, from what I've heard. But it's cool, I like it. I, I really missed a summer Christmas when I was uh, living in Europe. So I guess, yeah, that's a brief overview from my perspective uh, into New Zealand, what it's like to live here, a little bit about different aspects of it, and uh, I'd be really interested to hear from those of you who have either visited here or are planning to visit New Zealand on, on your thoughts about the place.
please comment and tell me what you thought about uh, the video and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, let me know what you would like me to make my next video about. See you later.